Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how can you upload any file to Azure Blob using Python. So for this, the very first thing is to install the required package. So you can go to a terminal window and execute the command pip install Azure storage blob and press enter. It will go ahead and install the required package for you. Okay, once it is done, we need to go ahead and import it so that we can use it. Azure.storage.blob and it would be from blob service client. Okay, once this is defined, we need to define four key parameters. Those are the parameters which we need to talk to Azure or you can say we need those parameters so that our application can talk to Azure. So let's define those parameter over here. The first one is account key, which is like for storage account. And we'll shortly see how we can initialize it. And then we need storage underscore, we can say account name. So this again, we will grab it from portal. And the last thing is the connection string. So these are the three things which we needed. And once these things are grabbed, we need to go ahead and another thing, one more I forgot is the container name. So container name is the variable which will hold where our files will be actually uploaded. So let's name it container name and I will keep it empty as of now. Then I will go ahead and define a function which will uh, perform this upload thing for us. So for that, we can use def and let's name it upload to blob storage. And it will take two parameters. The first parameter would be our file path where our file is stored in our local machine. And the second would be the file name. So this is the file name which we will be using to save the file. So this particular file name will be the file name which you can see in your container once the upload function functionality is done. Okay, next, the very first thing starts from here. The very first thing we need is blob service container. So let's go ahead and cre create object for that. So I will just name it blob service client and it would be created from our client class which is having a function from connection string. Inside that we can use our variable which we have just created above and then we need to get the object so client object so i will create another one which is like blob client and this blob client will be using this particular client object with the function get blob client okay and in this we need to pass few parameters the first one is container so let's initialize it to our container and initialize it to the variable which we have declared above. And then we need the blob. So this is the file name which we are going to create. So once this is done, the only thing which is remaining is to open the file which is stored on our local machine and call the upload function. So let's use with because this is how we used to deal with file operations. And I would say uh, this, and then we need to uh, read this file in a binary mode. So it's RB and let's name it where, as the data. Blob client and upload job is the function which we can upload blob. And inside that just pass in this data. Okay, so once this is done, we can go ahead and just print out the message for the user, which says upload successful, upload it, and the file name is like, sorry, file name. Okay, let's stick with this small method. And once this is done, I will quickly go ahead and make a call to this function 
so the first parameter is the file so I have kept my file over C drive so you can even keep it in your local folder and just say the file name ss.png and the second parameter i want is the file name which i want to see in the blob container so here i would say let's give it a different name you can give the same name as well okay so this is what we need to code and the important thing which is remaining is to grab the values from the azure portal so for that let's go to azure portal so you can go to portal.azure.com and just log in with your active subscription. Here I have already created one storage account so I will not spend time on creating it again. And in this storage account what we need to do is you need to go to the access keys which is on the left hand side. And here you can see the Azure storage account name. Just grab this and paste it over here okay next we need is the key so key you can see here two keys you can grab any one of these so i will go ahead with the first one and paste it over here similarly we need the connection string so let's go here and at the bottom we need to grab this particular thing and at the end we need to grab the container name so for container name you can click on containers go to file folder so this is the this is your container name i will quickly grab this one from here and paste it in the code okay so we are almost done let's quickly execute it and see whether files get uploaded in the container so right now you can see that in this particular container there is only one file so i will execute this and shortly we will see that message uploaded file let's give it few seconds okay so we can see that the file uploaded is this one let's go to blob refresh it and you can see that the file just got uploaded so this is how easy it is to push anything into your blob storage so if you need this entire code or whatever i have explained here i have also written an article on my medium account that link you can find it in the comment section or in the description sections. So I hope you enjoyed the short video and thanks for watching.